What? what? But when they walk in, you know, they already did their research. They know why they're there. And then when I start speaking about it, that puts them at ease. Yeah. You know, just first glance, no one takes me seriously. No Please. one takes me Man, seriously. Man, I take you serious as hell. You coming there looking at me, telling me this is wrong with me. I'm going to be serious. You got that white coat on. I know what is going down. I don't like wearing my white coat. <laughs> That's what really scared the hell out of us. I don't like wearing my white coat. Right. It makes you nervous. It, may, it puts the wall up. Never wear my white coat. That damn white coat, man, it sure do make you feel like you fit it. I don't know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I have a very small team of people that believe in me, awesome. that really see my vision and believe in that vision. So my little sister is my everything. Actually, she runs the practice. Mm. Doesn't that, that pretty woman get up in there like that? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. It's hard to get the older men to take me seriously. I'm serious. Look, you but, know what, what? But when they walk in, you know, they already did their research. They know why they're there. And then when I start speaking about it, that puts them at ease. Yeah. You know, just first glance, no one takes me seriously. No Please, one takes me man, seriously. Man, I take you serious as hell. You coming there looking at me, telling me this is wrong with me. I'm going to be serious. You got that white coat on. I know what is going down. I don't like wearing my white coat. <laughs> That's what really scared the hell out of us. I don't like those. wearing my white coat. Right, it makes you nervous. It may, it puts the wall up. Never wear my white coat. A damn white coat, man. It sure do make you feel like you fit. A, I don't know. Nervous don't, as hell. It does. It really does. And you could tell some patients have uh, white coat syndrome. So you take their blood pressure. It's super super it's high, and it, it's a real thing. And I think it really puts a, it puts a wall I don't up. Know, I can't see you know, like we're. Talking to someone that's this, you know, God, or they think they're God, and then it's that's why I scooted my chair closer with her friend Tiffany. Didn't have a white coat on. Wow. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Wow, I I want to ask you about uh, um, just really the way you know this. It, 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 it's a crazy thing. I, I just have this phobia when I go. I, I fell out when I was little when I got a shot, and I ain't never been the same since. I go in there, I'm just like, damn. And, then, and you, you got to understand, when both of your parents died in the hospital after surgery, it sends you to a place where you don't trust no more. I'm being real with you. It's and I'm like, trauma. I'll just fall dead on the, in the front yard. I can do better than they did. They was looking good when they went in there. But then when they came out, so one didn't live long after and the other one did the next day. I'm so so I'm just saying, like, that's a that's a big deal for me. I don't know about other people. I hope somebody getting this. You know what I'm saying? But when when I went to talk to my dad, he was doing just fine. And I, I was like, man, you know, you sure about this? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I'm like, OK, so you're going to do it. OK. And uh, I left that hospital that night, and because I had experienced something early on with my mother, I was like, this dude's tripping. Like, wow, I wouldn't do it. I'm being real. In my mind, that's the way I felt. And the next day, he was dead. I'm being real. So this is the kind of thing that makes a person, when they do go, skeptical of what people are doing, because my biggest misconception, I want people to get this. Yeah, you can help me. But what if you don't? What if it don't work? What if my other partner, he, and I'm just giving you worst case scenarios, he owns a pain body shop, he's been there for years. She know who I'm talking about. Before he died, they cut both his legs off. He didn't make it. This here just happened about two months ago with mm -hmm. John. I can't say his name, I like to say his name, but I'm just telling you, when you hear these stories and then you've been through what I've been through, it's like they just poking their head out at you. And then my wife had to force me to go a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling you from a perspective of a person just opening up about personal ways that you feel like, man, I go, but I don't feel comfortable when I go. I'm being real. So you're, I hear a lot of what ifs. What if I don't make it out? What if they don't do a good job? No, 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 no. What no if, they didn't make it out. Ain't no right. what if. My mom didn't make it out. My dad didn't make it out. But what if and they And my friend nervous? didn't make it out. That's all I'm saying. What if you got in a car wreck on the way there? You still could have went, yeah. So, but the cutting the legs off and all that stuff to save him and then it don't work, that's a horrible way to die. That's all I'm telling it you. It is. So and, I, and it's a trip because 
And I'm going to let you talk. I just see when you cut somebody, whether you cut them on the streets or if you cut them in the surgery, you still cut them. So I don't have any scalpels in my facility so that I'm not cutting. But what your friend experienced sounds like a condition that really affects a lot of Americans, specifically the black community, um, and that's peripheral arterial disease. So, I mean, we grew up in the U.S., right? Like, we, we eat burgers. Everyone has a little bit of fat in their blood vessels, and that fat can kind of narrow the blood vessel a little bit. Like I said, I don't want to scare people. I was telling you about my experience. You know what I'm saying? All I'm telling you is, and you're right. Let's talk about that. You said in the black community, they be chopping off stuff. What is that? So when the fat kind of narrows the blood vessel, you're not getting enough blood down to your legs. And so when that happens, your body has to start conserving, right? So kind of the first thing you get is you're walking and you get a cramp or your toe starts turning a different color. And so all of that is because of what we call peripheral arterial disease. That's mm -hmm. fat in the arteries and that can calcify. And so one of the procedures that I do, because we do everything with the blood vessels, I'll go in there through the IV, find the area, I'm, I'm like a glorified plumber, find mm -hmm. the area that's kind of blocked off. And then I have a, a little fat shaver that fits through the, the IV. And then I'll take out all the fat, use a little balloon to open up the vessel to what the size it should be, and then the blood flows to your legs is restored. So if you're able to do that, then you avoid an amputation. Yeah. So interventional radiology, one of our uh, hashtags is hashtag stop the chop. Mm. Wow. We believe really strongly in that. It shouldn't, you shouldn't go straight to the worst case scenario. With you, you know, it, you, you shouldn't have to go straight to someone cutting. Right. And if that's what you choose, then okay. But you have to know that there's other options. Mm -hmm. you see all the options, and then you pick the one that's right for you. But as long as the knowledge, knowledge is key. Knowledge is key. Wow. But you see, when you think about um, the fat, like what you were talking about, I'm thinking about, so does that have to do with how they eat? And it's lifestyle. All of, lifestyle? It's lifestyle, but it's just getting older. You know? Okay. It, it, I have fat in my blood vessels, I'm sure. Okay. That, that's the reason why I'm asking that because then when I see people who do all these different surges for all these different things to remove this fat, but they go back to eating whatever and however and don't really try to take care of their bodies because they know that. I've heard people, I promise you, who tell me, oh, I don't even work out. I eat what I want. If this happens, I just go do another surgery. Exactly. Yeah. Because you do get it kind of a new lease on life, right? And uh -huh. I tell my patients, like, this is not. Just because you have a new lease on life doesn't mean you go back to your old ways because you're going to end up right where you right. were. And the procedure gets more and more difficult for me the more times that I have to go back in and fix it mm -hmm. to the point where there's one day where I'm not going to be able to help and you have no choice but to go under the knife. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.